is up everybody? It's rev time. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about how I set up uh, my trim and show you guys some of the things I do uh, and you know maybe discuss a few of the things uh, that I've learned from other uh, guitar players that use uh, their trim quite a bit. Guys like of course uh, the great Jeff Beck, um, Jimmy Herring, uh, Michael Landau, Scotty Henderson, but I guess where I should start right away is um, I don't set up my guitars quite as extreme, I guess, as some of these guys do. Like this guitar right now, uh, basically, if you pull back on the trim, because it is floating, if you pull back on the trim, you're going to get almost a whole step. Maybe just a little bit flat from that. That's about all I use because I don't really pull up on the trim that much. I tend to uh, to push down on it just to get uh, slide effects. I don't really do much. Here and there I'll do it. Um, you know, the Landau trick is really cool. But for the most part, I tend to just want to kind of, you know, swoop into the note or bend down. So it just depends on your guitar. There's all kinds of tricks. Uh, you might look up a guy named Carl Verheyen. Uh, he shows how he sets up his trim uh, as far as the springs go. And, uh, you know, I learned pretty much everything I know about that from uh, watching that video. Hopefully it's, it's, it's an older video, but hopefully it's still up. But I, I don't want to go so much into adjusting springs and, and all that stuff. The one thing I will say that's imperative, um, and it's working really well on this guitar, is just make sure you're not catching anywhere. In other words, make sure you're, you're not catching at the nut uh, string-wise, at the string tree. Make sure you're not getting any weird burrs or ticks uh, at the saddles on your bridge. That's, I think, the most important thing. If your guitar is tinging or catching anywhere, um, it's not going to come back in tune uh, no matter how you adjust the springs. I still, for the most part, just use uh, pencil lead, number two pencil lead in the nut. Um, every once in a while, I have some D'Addario uh, lubricant that I'll put under the string tree to make sure it doesn't catch there. And for the most part, I just try to make sure my saddles are free of, of burrs. I try to make sure, obviously, the strings are seated well uh, within the base of the trim. It's basically, you know, simple common sense things to start with before you start adjusting. Um, your trim absolutely has to float to get the type of effect. You don't want it to be setting against the body and only go down. Uh, all your trim stuff will just feel kind of rigid. So. With that out of the way, um, I'll show you just, I only have a few of these tricks, to be honest with you, but I've been doing them for a long time. So the one is kind of the slide effect, and it's, it's based on this shape, if we're in the key of C. So you can see I'm just playing the triad. And I'm just bending uh, notes within the triad. So I start on that, uh, you know, I guess that, what is that speed bump? Is that the, uh, the eighth speed bump? <laughs> I'm terrible at counting frets. But it's the G, the fifth of the chord. I start on that note. And I swoop into it. Now, I always use my fingers. Every once in a while, I'll do this with a pick. But it's easier with my fingers because I can mute other notes to get that slide effect. But... You want to basically swoop into that and then you can come back down and then while the trim arm is still in that position you want to grab the third and let the trim arm come back up and then you can duck back down and it's basically like a slide trick. And that's pretty much what I do everywhere. So you can pick lines that you already dig and just try to employ uh, 
that technique. Now, some of the Jeff Becky stuff, the uh, that kind of thing. Now, Jeff is well beyond anything I'll ever be able to play. Some of those ballads uh, that he does are just all the harmonics that he grabs and the, the way he can like actually play scales up and down, just moving the trim is just crazy. I'm no good at that. But I still listen to Jeff Beck, you know, a lot. And, you know, it still has an influence on me. And then, you know, back in the day, it was really hip to like swoop into chords. Um, and then do the really slow shake. That's all kind of Landau and Dan Huff uh, style stuff. And that's all really cool too. But I think what I use the most is the kind of slide approach. So like into that one, you have to be in tune because you're going to bend down a whole step. You're going to go. But it's really just those two strings. And then I tend to when I, you know, come off of something, kind of do that type of deal. And, you know, there's another trick I learned from uh, Jimmy Herring, who's an absolutely fabulous guitar player, but I, I steal it a lot. And I'm not sure maybe it's, you know, it's, and if you think about it, it's, um, Eddie did it, you know, for sure. But, uh, you know, within the same realm of what I was showing you in the key of C, I always caught Jimmy Herring doing this thing. That's a really fun one. Um, so if you, within that, you know, it's basically a pentatonic. So you start, you know, at that flat seven, and then you hammer off, and then you duck the note on the trim. And you can do double, you know, on the trim side. Uh, but it's a really fun trick. And I remember you know, I put up an Instagram post of me doing a bunch of trim junk and somebody was like, dude, can you, can you even live without a trim? And I was like, no, I can't live without a trim. It's like, I don't use it all the time. I don't, you know, but at the same time, when I'm in that mode, it's just so fun uh, to, you know, employ that technique because instead of just going, that sounds cool, but that sounds really cool too. It just has this, you know, vocal characteristic to it. to show you guys really quick a few of the things that I do. I don't know if that was really quick. What was that, 10 minutes? Oh, um, just to show you some of the, the things I do with a trim. And uh, by the way, check out uh, Doug Doppler. He's been doing some videos on this channel that have been really great about how to use 
uh, the Alpha Series amp uh, and get various different tones using various different approaches as far as the power sections, uh, running direct, all that kind of stuff. I actually did uh, one video with him. He does really great work uh, on this channel. I think he's doing a series of five videos, so check him out. And once again, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Oh,